Um, so first, um, I found the missing site, um, because down there, um, is, down this side is 218. So add them together, it gives you that side. So Good, now that was slightly different to last time, wasn't it? Because we were, we were given a 10, we had to take away that. But Joel's realised if that's 2 and that's 8, then putting those together must be 10 for the long length. Well done. And then to find the, the 7 centimetres, 5 at 7 is 12, so the 7 goes there. And then to find the area, um, you do, so I split them by there, so 2 times 12, that's 24 centimetres square, and then um, 5 times 8 uh, was 40 centimetres squared, and add them together, 64 centimetres squared. Fantastic. Now, Joel's going to leave us put there for a second. We're going to be really critical, and we think, how could we improve this answer? Because do, what do we think about his finance of 64 centimetres squared? What do you think? We're nodding? Yeah, that's good. I agree. So fundamentally, it's right. But there's a very, very big difference in mass between a right answer and a really, really, really good answer. At the moment, I think it's an okay answer. I think we can make it better by not doing a huge amount of work, and it will look loads, loads, loads better. So I'm going to swap places with, um, with Joel, and I'm going to use my red pen, and we're going to try and uh, come up with some ways of improving. So what do you think we could do, first of all, to improve his answer? So like I said, I don't think there's much. And it's going to go from being an okay answer to being a brilliant answer in about, well, I reckon doing less than a minute. Anyone got any ideas, first of all? I don't like how these numbers just pop up out of nowhere. I'm having to do a lot of work here, okay? So this thing here, where he's done 8 times 5 is 40, I know that's from there, but only because I've done the question myself. So I'm going to call that area B. So I'm going to call this calculation B here. So it's really obvious to anyone looking at my work, which one's which? Any idea why I called that one B? Go back. I was going to call the top one A, although it looks a bit weird now. The work it really doesn't matter because if I'm calling that A, I just put A there. So although that isn't in alphabetical order, it really doesn't matter. Okay. So now it's a bit more obvious to so anyone looking at my work where each calculation comes from. Okay. So I can tick both of those. That's brilliant. What I would also do by here is I'd say finding missing sides. Okay, so this is what we call quality of written communication. Okay, and basically by having really good quality of written communication, it lets anyone who's marking your work follow what you're doing. Finding missing sides. And then here, where we've got 40 and 24 equals 64 centimetres squared. First of all, I'm super happy to see the centimetres squared. That tells me he's working area. But what is it? What's he doing here? Why is he doing 40 out of 24? What's he finding? He's finding the total area. So literally all I want him to do is write total area. Okay? So it's not a lot of extra work here. And then here, perimeter, P equals, quite obvious this person knows what they're doing. They're showing me they add together all the sides. He could have put another equal sign there. And then 44 what? 44 bananas? Centimetres. Not centimetres squared? No, because it's a distance. Usain Bolt does not run the 100 metres squared. He runs the 100 metres. Okay? How much red pen on there is there compared to pencil? Not that much in comparison. I didn't have to do much there to change that from being a good answer to being an absolutely fantastic, worldly answer. Okay? All good?